today I'm reviewing this 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix GT. Okay, check it out. It's got the dual um, port grill. This is just this is not come with the car like a, a normal. One. This is called a car bra, and it's um looks kind of ugly on the cars. It's cut, it's supposed to keep bugs off the original paint and stuff. I kind of wish we could have took it off, but um whatever. But it, it does look good without this um, little piece of stuff here, this vinyl stuff there. But anyways, underneath the hood is a 3800 Series 3 V6, and um, it puts out 200 horsepower and 230 foot-pounds of torque. And this, do I have to say, this thing has tons of power. Man, you just barely hit the gas and it moves, it scoots. Man, this thing's great. And it's pretty fuel economy too. I'm not sure what the fuel economy is, but um, it's really good. And um, yeah, I like that the updated engine of the 3800. So yeah, um, it looks good. Maybe you can see some pictures of it without um, this icky thing right here. I don't, it's not icky, but I just don't like the looks of it with it on. It doesn't make the car look good. But I like this white color with these nice rims on it. I'm um, not sure the size, but this is, this is a nice car. Pretty nice, you know, it's a GT trim. And as you come in here, you get a power seat with um, dual, lum I think it's lumbar. Kind of, kind of nice seats, you know, these are nice seats, nice cloth, interesting cloth seats. They have a different kind of look to them. It's, you know, different as you come in. And shut this here. Now you get your power windows. That's your window lock, power mirrors, and your lock. Now to open up the trunk, there's no button down here. You have to hold it the lock towards unlock, and you have to hold that until it pops the trunk. So that's different, you know. I like these handles. Um, love that silver trim. I love how they did the silver trim in here around the shifter, around the wheel, and you know nice little silver stuff there um so that's cool so yeah it's got a kind of softer material there map pocket there you get audio controls um 10 two notches which i love for the sport and i love this interesting leather wrap steering wheel it's just i love those holes in it makes it look sporty i love that and as you come to these gauges it goes up to 140 i love that these gauges are cool and what I like about them, um, I wish I would have brought the key out, but um, when you turn the key on, the gauges just really, are really cool. They go back and then they go forth, and you know, and then they go to regular. You know, they go to zero and the RPMs go to on. You know, and, but it's cool how all the gauges, you know, they go back and forth like a sports car or, or a motorcycle. Well, this is kind of a sports car because it's a GT. But um, yeah, you get your vents, air vents there with the nice silver trim around there. Uh, I wish the pedals were um, like had that chrome too to them, but they you don't. Know. But for storage, as storage goes, you get a map pocket there. You get a um, little cup, pretty big cubby there. Two cup holders with a little, I don't know, something there. You get this little ashtray or something there. Um, all right, so it's kind of deep, but it's not as wide as I like it to be. It's all right, you know, it's got a power outlet down there. And you got. Um, yeah, pretty big. It's kind of nice because it's got a kind of soft to it and softness of the stitching there. You get another power outlet there. But anyways, back to the storage. You get another storage cubby there. And then you get this glove box. I like how it goes down slow. All right size, I guess. Kind of small. but So you get a yeah, power outlet there and then the glove box. A button here. I'm not sure what that is for, but this one is not fancy enough to have it. But anyways, um, the shifter is nice. It's got the same kind of leather to it. That kind of would feel cool, you know, and I like it, you know. It's four-speed automatic. Controls are simple, but it's got cold AC, hot heat. Um, radio. I don't like the radio because what's famous for these is um, the lights are red, and they burn out really quick. And um, if you're buying a Pontiac and you get this radio, you expect the lights to already be burned out or pretty close to being burned out or they're going to burn out fast because these a lot of Pontiacs we've owned with that same radio and you can't tell what time it is because it's all black 
you know, here I'll turn it on. You kind of can see, you can kind of see the time a little bit, but not very much. See, yeah, that's what I don't like about it. But um, yeah. And if you notice that there's no um gauges to tell the odometer, it's in here, and you press, you get a whole information display. It says the miles. This one has eighty three thousand. And um, you can tell the gauges, like, so you can tell how many hours are on the engine, like the transmission temperature, I think, and all that stuff. Um, I is, um, see if the, well, if it was on, if you press I, it would tell you the date, which is really cool. It tells you if it's, like, Monday, Tuesday, and it tells you Monday, September 7th, 2015. It's really cool. You get the gas mileage um, thing that tells you your average and your instant. That's cool. You get a passenger airbag. It tells you if it's on or off. It tells you if your passenger's buckled. You also get a lot of vents around here. Look at that. Two, four, five, and then six, seven. Seven vents. Wow. And I like them. You know, they're nice and round and they're cool. You get two airbags. No side airbags. You know, you get one in there and one in here, of course. I just really love this ten two notches there. Um, oh, for storage also, you get this cheap plastic um sort of thing you feel like you're gonna break it man does this feel cheap could be just me or i don't know well it's really plastically sunglasses oh uh oh holder <laughs> um very cheap um yeah pontiac should have made that a little bit stronger it's really cheap and you get light some somewhere where I don't know, that's kind of cheap too. I don't know, this wasn't the best well taken care of car, so things are maybe kind of beaten up a little bit. But anyways, you get lights there. Um, yeah, you get a six speaker sound system, I think is that is, yep. Or six or, let's see. Yep, six speaker, I'm counting them speakers. Um, Get your ignition there. Um, you know, the interior is really nice if you just sit back and look at it. Um, It's different, you know, I like it. I love the shifter in the floor. Um, glove box feels nice. Two cup holders. Altogether, it's got four cup holders. Um, man, I just like. Oh, and I, another thing I like about it when you start it up, um, it says GP, I, but I don't get why it says GP instead of GT. But it says that, so whatever. But um, I love the silver trim, and I love these handles there. It's really nice. I like this car. And nice white color. Looks good. I just don't like that thing on the front. Now this thing has full flat seats. Um, this rug there is like that. Full flat seats are pretty close to full flat seats. So as you see the trunk, it's it expands the trunk a lot when um when you open up the trunk and you fold down the seats and you get a emergency if you get locked and you can pull that and escape helps escape you get you out of the trunk so yeah nice spoiler here um right there and i love the gt sign right there really cool now i think something's weird it does it only has one exhaust system i think it was supposed to have two but i don't know something's the matter with it i only see one exhaust system I guess if you get the GTP, you get dual exhaust or GXP, whatever how it goes. There's a lot of trims for this. It depends on what year they changed it. They used to have a GTP and then they changed it to GXP. And these seats really look nice. I like them. You got hooks for your car seat. Um, as you open that, you get two cup holders, storage cubby there, same interior things, handles there. Kind of feel a little bit cheap also. But yeah. This is nice. This is Car Reviews with Josh saying thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching again. And we'll see you next.